Hi, this is Al Mercaglano, Associate Professor of History at Campbell University, a former merchant mariner and an instructor in maritime history, security, and maritime industry policy. want to give you an update on a story we've been following here on what's going on in shipping. Also, a new story that's taking place right now off the coast of Indonesia. Both of them involve fires. So the first story deals with the Express Pearl, a vessel that has been on fire for quite a long time. Uh, off the coast of Colombo in Sri Lanka. This is a fire that started on board the vessel, led to the abandonment of the vessel, and the fire is still raging on board the vessel, although it's getting close to being under control. The other incident involves a Indonesian ferry, the KM Karya India, uh, which had a fire on board and which one person is still missing on board. So I wanna talk about each of these and just give you a little background on what is going on. So these are the stories out of G Captain on this uh, about the fire that's been going on board and I'll show you the latest inf information here on it. Uh, a couple of videos here. This is from Air Force right here. They follow the Sri Lankan Air Force quite a bit. Uh, they do a great job in, in putting out their media here. This is from uh, yesterday. You'll see the fire has basically turned white smoke White smoke uh, indicates that basically there's more air than fuel burning at this point. Uh, when you get black smoke, that's incomplete combustion. And so the vessel fire has been basically brought under control. You'll see vessels off here, flooding the vessel right now with water, trying to get the fire out under control. According to Smith Salvage, the on-scene uh, on salvage master, basically reporting that the vessel is in good trim that the hull has not been damaged, although spraying a lot of water on a fire will start flooding the vessel, so they will need to be careful about exactly what happens here as they go forward. I want to show you another video. This video comes from the Sri Lankan Navy, uh, Sri Lankan Navy trying to get in the action with the Sri Lankan Air Force here. I'll show you this video. They got this off YouTube, I mean, off uh, Facebook, excuse me. Uh, they use a flare, a, a forward-looking infrared monitor so what you're seeing is hot spots on the vessel you can see the hot spots red obviously the hottest spot on the vessel yellow still warm and then moving on to the gray and as the days progress the fire begins to get under control more you'll still see some hot spots burning inside those containers And this shows the progression of the fire. You still get a lot of heat in there, even though you don't have a lot of red right there, you're still having a lot of radiant heat. And if you see those red in the interior there, that's in the inside of the vessel. Those are those interior containers. You also don't get a good uh, view, by the way, of the fire below decks. <clears throat> You'll see how it stops right there on the water line. You're still having heat below the water line, something that you just don't see on these vessels at this time. This in that GCAM story still talks about the ship being an anchor at 9.5 nautical miles off Colombo. She's closer to the coast than that, but she's 9.5 miles southwest of Colombo. Uh, ship had 1,486 containers on board. 81 were reported as dangerous goods, including the 25 tons of nitric, oxi uh, nitric acid on board. They also talk about the fact that she's carrying 297 tons of heavy fuel oil and 51 tons of marine fuel oil and Smith salvage is the appointed salver. This is interesting. This is the uh, uh, information center put out by Express Pearl. The, uh, uh, the uh, vessel owner uh, Express put this out there and really gives a detailed kind of uh, day by day breakdown of what happened. On May 20th, uh, the Express Pearl reported smoke in a cargo hold. Uh, emergency procedures were initiated, CO2 released into the cargo hold. This comes from, again, those leaking nitric acid containers probably. On May 21st, vessel reported fire on deck. Now, within the hold, you can flood CO2. On deck, you can't. It just wouldn't work. And so they deployed Port Authority and helicopter to support. Uh, put everybody on standby for potential evacuation. Fire chemical experts were contacted, and, and Smith Salvage was appointed as salvers. On May 22nd, the sound of explosion was heard in cargo hold number two, probably containers cooking off down there. Talked about tugs coming out with assistant fire operations, 12 Crew members disembarked, uh, making way for a 12-person firefighting team. You want to take off non-essential crew members as much as possible if you don't need them on board. 
By May 24th, the fire had intensified, spreading the aft of the vessel. A further ladder explosion was heard on May 25th, and as a prudent measure, it was decided to evacuate all 13 crew and the firefighting team of 12. Uh, and they were sent to a quarantine facility ashore. Uh, two uh, crew members suffered leg injuries during evacuation and were taken to the hospital. Firefighting tugs <clears throat> operating on scene through May 22nd, uh, 26th with the assistance of Sri Lankan Navy helicopters and vessels and two Indian Coast Guard vessels. And they go on here to continue talking about the firefighting. So a pretty detailed information on the Express Pearl and what is happening with her. Obviously, the vessel is going to be in a position where not much is going to be salvageable from her except for maybe the hull. As I said before, they're reporting the hull is intact. So once that fire subsides, they'll be able to tow it hopefully back into port and see what's going to happen. I can't imagine this vessel not being a constructive total loss. The amount of heat damage and internal damage on the vessel, uh, she's basically no longer used for anything except for scrap at this point. So uh, a really sad ending to this vessel. Come over to this vessel. This is again the Karya India, uh, seen here at a distance after the fire has subsided. The vessel was at a uh, ferry working in Indonesia, very uh, typical in the area of Indonesia. You would see these ferries running between the islands. Indonesia is just hundreds, if not thousands, of small islands put together with a couple of main islands Sumatra, Java, Borneo, uh, Timor, uh, Bali, uh, all, all run throughout the area. Uh, 274 people uh, were uh, rescued from the vessel and taken to a nearby area with one person still missing with the search continuing. Uh, this is the video that was shown on this. Let me come on over here and I'll show you the video. This is the video that was played on this. Let's see if we can pull this up here for you. Here we go. <clears throat> so you see the fire licking back aft there along the area right there. You can see people up on deck with the orange vests on. Let me uh, pause that for a second and see if I can get a better image here. Right up here on the bow, you'll see them up uh, donning their rescue gear, the life uh, preservers and everything. And then the rafts in the water, the large orange, ra orange rafts. Video is obviously taken from one of those rafts. You can see them out here in the water people uh, getting in them. Fire basically spread throughout the vessel, consumed the vessel. Here they are in one of the rafts. Modern rafts are, are really good. Contain everything you need on board. Obviously, this is on board a rescue vessel. And then here are these uh, people being shuttled ashore by some uh, fast craft to get them off. Uh, very lucky to, to get off with, with just one person missing at this time. Obviously, uh, a lot of people on board. A lot of people don't know a lot about fire safety on board a vessel. So you always want to make sure that you listen to the crew. Take that minute whenever you go on board a craft, whether it's a small boat with just a few friends. <clears throat> Take a minute. Where's the life jackets? What do I do in case of an emergency? This way, even if it's out for just on a Memorial Day weekend, you stay safe because it's really important that things go bad quickly on board boats. When they do go bad, they go bad quick and you don't have a lot of time to react. So I just wanna provide this quick update on these two vessels, the uh, uh, Express Pearl off Colombo and the Caria India off Indonesia. So as if anything new breaks on this, we'll go ahead and post some more videos about it and some more information. This is Sal signing off. Have a good Memorial Day weekend.